Nintendo always has like the most cheerful jingles, huh? Oh, yeah, partner showcase. Is consumed by darkness, and the land falls into chaos. Is this live the alive? Demon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have. Hey, noms! I'm back. Think. Fighting and ending things with friends is hard, but I'm back oh. to your stream to cheer myself up, Nim's dad. Oh, Gmo. I'll try to cheer you up after this. But hopefully the direct will cheer you up. Wait, is this boss hunter? It's boss hunter. Oh right, sunbreak. It's at the end of the month. I actually am pretty interested in getting this. But I barely played Rise as is. <laughs> it can't be. Wait, did they get better modeling? Plans. Shall feed the beast and return to darkness. The story ends. Another begins. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. Who's coming up? This is all from Rise. Wait, what is the connection between the two? Is this just a different continent? this on the switch it's also on the pc Here it comes. Fear my this is for my fellow hunters oh the cg seems to have gotten better Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I didn't play enough Monster Hunter to like really truly appreciate that. Free title update one. Wow. Seething Bezogus coming August 2022. 20, oh, it's nice to have a free update. Wait, these are all free. They're adding a bunch of free mods. <gasps> it goes into 2023. They're actually really going to support the game, huh? Yeah, June 30th. End of the month. Demo's already available. I'm kind of interested, but like... Monster Hunter takes a lot of time. It's worth your time, but I already have a bunch of games Hello, to play. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Yep. Okay, let's get into the headlines. The battle to reclaim Earth begins. All right. The year is 5012 AD. Machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing this the Earth collapse Defense Force? of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. What? Now, with an android squad called Yorha, the humans Wait. are prepared to stand against these. I thought this was never going to happen. Invaders. A battle android 2B. What the heck? A scanner android. 9s please don't please don't be Our streaming key members of this squad please don't be streaming please don't be streaming a game like this it's Machine really action-packed and quick pace with androids please don't be streaming but what will come of this bloodless battle near automata is like several several years old it's on a ps4 yes! for pete's sake this 
version of the award-winning Nier Automata comes with previously released content, including additional modes and costumes. Okay, all DLC New is available. exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Ooh. Reclaim Earth in Nier Automata, the end, end of, of your Yorha. edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It doesn't mention streaming. Then why didn't they release this earlier? I'm so surprised. I thought this was never going to happen. That's huge. If you guys have never played Nier Automata, it's one of the best games ever. It's Yoko Taro at his greatest, which is just pure madness. <laughs> what is this? Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. What is this? What is this? Is this Suda 51? It gives me those vibes. What is this? This Solve is zany. the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. 2023, though. Okay. Did a bit long Familiar show. Faces are making a splash in these games. A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. No, time, I just bought Super Bomberman Art. Mode enters the fray. A team of up no. to 15 players must blast their way to I just bought chest. Bomberman Art last, last week. Not last week, last month. Set up your defense Why? wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. <laughs> what the you can heck? also create and share your own battle stages. Have a blast when oh, Super Bomberman R2 launches how, on Nintendo Switch. How could next you make year. an R2? It's the same game. That's that's Mega Man just Battle the same Network game. Games originally released the on heck? the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, Control Mega Man in oh my God! Combat and I love Battle Network. I grew abilities. up with this on my GBA. This collection includes a gallery with over an 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over have you guys played this songs from a childhood series wow Vic, you actually have a childhood Mega Man battle network Th this Legacy collection i love this game on when Nintendo I was... oh next year. wait a second the full that looks horrible will also be digitally available as volume Ooh. one and volume two okay, that's better separately i'm scared because they have to blow it up a remake to of 720p world is at least coming soon pac-man's family has been kidnapped oh god to rescue them miss pac-man always creeps me out <laughs> Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with pack dots, the rev roll, the butt bounce, and a giant Pac-Man from high speed chase. These games always weird me out. Escapades. You'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Yeah, I remember this stuff Save on PlayStation 2. In Pac-Man World Repack, launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. It's not a bad game, it's Two just so weird. Likely friends. It's not how what I view Pac-Man. Incredible journey. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the Aww. snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. That's so cute. In Skip the wolf a month before it eats the deer, though. These unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual Aww. strength. That's adorable. To solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid. Oh, wilds. I love the stylism because it is actually a winter. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play. So all players. <laughs> this can has co-op. Wait, how does this have co-op? And Five Warriors doesn't have co-op. Come on. This is adorable. Forge though. an unexpected bond in Blanc. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. It's a console exclusive. Okay. A swashbuckling adventure returns. I check out Blanc if it wasn't too expensive. That actually was really pretty. Pirating is in my blood, like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been no in grog. It's been drinking too much. Dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. And this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, it's Monkey Island! I couldn't tell what it was. What it was. Ew. Guy brush three wood. 
I thought this stuff was so cool when I was a kid. Like these point and click adventures. <laughs> definitely ha definitely is an adventure. Return to Monkey Island 2022. Wish list now. <laughs> uh, Monkey around and return to Monkey Island, launching first for that's consoles so old school. on Nintendo Switch this year. Have you guys noticed that Next, there's a lot of we have some launch on, the, about a game on that was console first nowadays? June. Please take They're a not look. exclusives. There are very few exclusives nowadays. Mario and the Rabbids blast off for a galactic adventure in the latest Mario Again? plus Rabbids game. There's another one? Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by Sparks, these mysterious creatures. You now, mean Lumas? Our heroes must set out to save them. A new adventure of epic proportions Ooh. awaits. Wait a second, wasn't this a tactical game before? You'll initiate a turn based battle when you encounter. Oh, an yeah, enemy. yeah, see? It is. I was Before confused for a moment. Here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, it's let's a less restrictive Mario. tackle game. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. You know what the system reminds now me of? Select Rabbit Rosalina. And oh god. Why'd you make another. Rosalina look so creepy? Next. Rabbit Luigi. Has anyone ever One played Valkyria dash, Chronicles? And now, Disruptor Time. This, uh, this tackle plays what it reminds me of. Uh, By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew. That concludes his turn. Last the Mario of guns, he's so Rabbit serious Rosalina. with him. You guys see him? Team up with an ally That's a like face of a killer. Jump. Get positioned, then finish off with the Kaboomer. This is pretty cute. Okay, I think kids would really enjoy this. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. Yeah, if the cover system really matters. It won't be pretty. All right, we've got the floor again. Dash toward the bomb, and if you chuck it over, wow! Boom! That's That'll a lot of actions. That heavily the benefits the player. Is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? <laughs> Mario plus Rabbids, Wait, what? Sparks of Hope rockets onto the Nintendo Why Switch system on Bowser October 20th. Help? Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo e I highly recommend you guys do not buy this as a pre-launch. Tomorrow for more details Don't. about Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. The thing with Ubisoft games is they drop in price so quickly. If you wait one year, and I know that's a long time, hope you're looking forward to it will at least be half price. Mario and the Rabbids. Mario, at, look at more Mario plus Rabbids, the first game right now is like five bucks, ten bucks. There's it drops so much from its initial um, launch price. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. Wait, what? The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes. That art style looks so familiar. Recruit allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch later today. Okay, this is a great handheld game. Wait, this is launching later today. Oh, <laughs> what? In the management sim Railgrade, oh, you'll God. build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo. Okay. Help I know these games aren't for everybody. To an but colony. when I was a kid and I was Complete making like tasks playing games like this, shipment before it's delivered I was so obsessed with it. Your strategies will change based on various This factors, is such a niche thing, like but like it's it's so much fun run, if you can get into it. Which resources to acquire? 
and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Yeah, I know this is not for everybody. Some people just will Join think this is really boring. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Wright. Taking place oh. in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over oh, 200 geez. pages where you must draw, erase, solve puzzles, Way. and even consult your handy Way. calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the Isn't page. Isn't this just scribble RPG not? time, the legend of right. Unfolds just... onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. This honestly reminds me of scribble not. Today on Nintendo eShop. But it's a lot more cute. Spin dash oh, into a new zone. Scribble not is pretty cute. I don't know. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Oh, oh geez. Here. You can freely dash. Did you want open world open Sonic? Taking full Did you want open world Sonic? Sonic? That's skills. all we know about this game. That it's open world Sonic. Lock on this game has been like talked about forever. In your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos. Oh, we finally just see fighting. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. <laughs> There's even parry. To bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. You can also enter a special zone called cyberspace. Take Ooh. on challenges at supersonic speed. Now that is more like traditional Sonic. Keys to I, got, I like that actually, that they integrated traditional Sonic into it as well. The cityscape is really what I know Sonic from. What Sonic and also the space traveling, giants. galaxy running. That's actually so... Ooh, bot, boss Sonic fights? Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Holiday, so Christmas? Live magically alongside your Disney and You guys Pixar interested friends. in Sonic Frontiers? I'm not so sure yet. I need to see more. Sonic Remote games are always Valley disappointing was once nowadays. An idyllic so. land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony until Ooh. the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now, oh, wait. It's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. You know, bring the magic back. Th that was reminding me of Kingdom Hearts. In this mesmerizing life and then I realized, adventure. why don't they put Explore Kingdom Hearts on, on the Switch? The first and then I realized, and forge lasting friendships oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts is on the Switch. Alike. It's a cloud game that runs like crap. You meet will have personal stories to this is not what we wanted. <laughs> adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you This is a more casual you idea. Disney Dreamlight Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early game access off. title. Yeah, Sims for, uh, meets Cage. Take these adventures with you on the go. Live Alive, Live is alive. alive on July 22nd. This is the game I want. Multiple stories featuring Look how beautiful different it is. protagonists, time periods, and gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. Oh, man. A demo with the start of three chapters, Imperial China, Twilight of Edo, Japan, I the distant future will be available I need to find time. on Nintendo eShop later today. I need to find time for this. I'm really interested in getting this. The can be transferred to the full game once purchased. I'm really interested in getting this. Nobi and their friends land on an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends, eating delicious meals, and fishing. Wait, and is with this... local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Is this Story of Seasons? Doraemon, Story of Seasons. Friends oh my of the god. Great Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. I'm sorry, just play The World of Harvest Minecraft. Moon. Story of Seasons instead. Gameplay in Minecraft Legends. Dormon Story land, Seasons is, is, is fine, nature, but it, there's is a better one. By enemies from another dimension. On the Switch. Team up with allies and fight against this monstrous force Wait. threatening the world. What, what the heck? What secrets await in this new yet familiar universe? Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Minecraft Legends? It's a treasure okay. hunter's paradise. Sorry, I'm not the biggest Minecraft fan. Two siblings dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become Never stop making Dragon Quest games. 
in this Never. Dragon Quest series spin-off. You'll recruit a variety of well-mannered monsters to join you on a marvelous adventure. Dragon Quest is Prince money, help, guys. And with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Monsters are perfect travel buddies for exploring this vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. Ooh. Or dangle from a drachy to glide over gaping chasms. That's fun. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. That's good. Oh! Huh? Huh? What is this? Oh, is this a real? It's a real. Yeah, we're playing that right now. We're eight and a half hours into Fire Warriors. I need to obviously make the videos out. Grass though. Captain Bell of the Media, the jump plus dimensions. Oh, that looks really good. Wait, what the heck? Ah, oh, the beat ended. We're going to have so much fun together. And Portal? Rest, On the Switch? Is appreciated. You know, that's not a bad idea. There might even be cake. I... The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. I honestly don't recommend I you get this on the Switch, though. The Why do you keep killing me collection? <laughs> but oh well. Um, on Steam. You on Steam, have... Portal's like a dollar. All right, on when it's whenever it has a sale. So, if you want it on Switch, get it on Switch, but it's much cheaper on on Steam. And forge friendships in a new fantasy world. Welcome to Lethe, a peaceful village where seasons brightly color the environment. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Oh, what? Do a little farm work. Why does she look so pretty for a Cook farmer? And craft items and trek through the fields to collect materials. All while meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, Wait summer, a second. Fall, We're getting a lot of these farming winter. games, huh? However, they will give way to the season of death. <laughs> the quietest. We have story seasons, now we have store, uh, seasons of death. Crops oh! Wither. Wait a second, Life that's- threatened. That is an awesome concept. I love death Find and destruction. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. This is actually pretty badass. You know what? This actually seems pretty good. Bunch of cute girls, farming, the fate of the village and an RPG elements. That's actually not bad. Begin your new life in Harvestella. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Harvest Cell. This one actually kind of interests me. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take last. a look. Bayonetta? Bayonetta. <gasps> Mission start. Wait. Yeah. Persona 5? Coming at ya. No more Persona 5. I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. And today, I'm bringing along an ultra Don't be P5. top secret video. I hope it's not Persona 5 Strikers 2 or something. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Please be the real Persona. Is this 5 Royal? Oh my god. It's actually happening. I was so irked when I found out. Yeah, it's P5R. Yup. It's Persona real. Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st. Don't be cloud. And that's not all. The memes are dead, Pog Champ. The memes Come are dead. <laughs> Righto! Nice baton pass, Morgana! Okay, everyone, check this out. P4G as well? Hey, this came on Steam like last year, but still. P4G is still my favorite persona. Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and so Persona gorgeous. 3 Portable are also coming. What? Persona 3 Portable as well? Wait, hold up. 
Hold up. Hold up. Did the Switch just become a Persona machine? More Persona. Can't you play all, all the mainline Persona Switch. now on the Switch now? The Switch just became a Persona machine. Nintendo Direct That's Mini insane. All three Thank of the games? Watching. Okay, I, I, I gotta get all three. Persona, like playing any of the Persona games portable, that's how it was meant to be, right? Like the Vita had Persona 4 Golden, the PlayStation Portable had Persona 3, and now we finally can play Persona 5 Royal on portable. That's how it should be. Awesome, that was sick. All right, chat, what did you think? I can actually provide context for Bomberman. Bomberman, our online is set to discontinue what? this December. It was just test run all along for a proper mode for a proper game well. Wait, what? Bomberman R Online is set to discontinue? Then why did I buy the damn game? <laughs> I'm actually kind of set. <laughs> wow. You guys always say I'm scamming people? That's a real scam. I bought the damn game and now they're discontinuing it? For a second game that looks exactly the same? Come on. Alright chat, what did you guys think of this? Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. This game, this game in particular, uh, Harvestella, is actually really interesting to me. I might get this. This one seems fun. But the big announcements, right away overshadows everything. Persona 5, Royal, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 3 Portable. I can't believe all of them are available on the Switch now. The Switch is now a Persona console. Awesome. I couldn't believe it because when Persona first released, I was never understood why it could not Persona 5 not come onto the Switch. Never. I never understood it at all. It runs on a friggin' PS3. And while the Switch is not very powerful, it is at least as powerful as PlayStation 3. It does not seem architecture, I get it. But if you really wanted to make it work, you could make it work. So I gave up on it. We memed about Persona 5 coming onto the Switch forever now. And when it finally did come, it was Persona 5 Strikers, and that was like really upsetting. No, we have the real thing now. So I'm really excited about that. Obviously, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is going to be amazing. So never sleep on Monster Hunter. That's for sure. And finally... Oh. Live Alive? I also really am looking forward to that as well. But those are the big games I'm looking forward to. I think I'm forgetting one, though. But the part showcase is pretty good. It showed off a lot of good games that I think are incoming. Oh, yeah. Mega Man Battle Network Collection. That is really interesting. I used to play all of those games back on the GBA. That's not a bad game to get at, at all. I actually still have my Game Boy Advance. I recently upgraded to an IPS screen and everything, so I'd be very interested to play more of that. Anyways, great direct. Great direct. 9 out of 10? 10 out of 10? I'm just really biased because I always want a Persona on the Switch. And I can play like all of them on the Switch, which is just insane. Anyways, this was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed. Oh, here it is. Near Automata. I knew I was forgetting something. This too. Between Persona 5 and Nier Automata, I never understood why neither of them could come on the Switch. I definitely didn't believe Nier Automata could come on the Switch. Because Nier Automata is actually really hard to run. Uh, that's a Persona... That's a... Sorry, not Persona. PlayStation 4 game. But yeah, that's awesome. Still, it's better on the PC and will be cheaper on the PC. But if you've never experienced this and you can only play games on the Switch, absolutely recommended. It. It's so zany. It's so different. And it makes you appreciate thighs so much more and android girls and if you ever played any of other yokotaro's works like a lot of characters cross over but yeah awesome awesome all right great great direct